Welcome to our video about Cryptococcus gadii infection. Symptoms and causes of Cryptococcus gadii. This article discusses the characteristics of Cryptococcus gadii infection and the symptoms associated with it. You will also learn how the infection spreads. If you are suffering from C. gadii infection, it's important to get treatment as soon as possible. To learn more about C. gadii, please read on. Listed below are the main symptoms and causes of C. gadii infection. What is C. gadii infection? A bacterium called Cryptococcus gadii, which is related to the fungus Congida albicans, causes an infectious disease called Cryptococcus. Cryptococcus gadii infection is more common in solid organ transplant recipients. This infection causes respiratory and nervous system problems and can lead to lumps under the skin. It is not contagious from person to person but can infect animals. The best way to diagnose the infection is to screen body fluids and use antifungal drugs. Cryptococcus gadii, or Coccus gadii, is one of the most common fungi in the world. It has spread rapidly to temperate climates and previously affected only HIV-infected individuals. Infections caused by this fungus are a growing concern in the United States and around the world. People exposed to fungi can develop meningitis or pneumonia. The most recent outbreaks of C. gadii infection were in Canada and the U.S. Southeast. While no human infections were reported in Calgary, the bacteria has been found in neighboring areas of the country. Because of its geographic distance, it is unlikely that any infections with the GIA strain could be acquired locally. Nevertheless, physicians caring for patients who have recently visited an area where C. gadii is endemic and should consider C. gadii infection as an alternative diagnosis of pneumonia in immunocompetent patients. C. gadii infection symptoms among those with this infection, death is the rarest complication. Vancouver Island, BC, was the site of the most recent outbreak. In five years, there were 172 human cases and eight deaths. Between 2002 and 2005, the incidence of C. gadii infection on Vancouver Island peaked at 36 cases per million people, far higher than the 0.94 cases slash million population that occurred in endemic areas of Australia. The fungus Cryptococcus neoformans is often associated with bird droppings, and this particular fungus is more rarely found in humans. While the major species of Cryptococcus is the commonly found species C. neoformans, Cryptococcus gadii is rare in the United States. This fungus lives in soil and in certain trees. People can become infected by breathing in a microscopic fungus that has encapsulated itself in a person's skin. Although the fungus causes C. gadii infections, the symptoms are not always immediately apparent. In most cases, patients may only develop the fungus after a long period of exposure. In addition to a few days of fever, these patients may also develop fatigue or headaches. In addition to the above-mentioned C. gadii infection symptoms, you should consult your doctor for a diagnosis. About C. gadii infection the symptoms of a C. gadii infection usually begin between 2 and 13 months after the fungus has been inhaled. Most people will not notice the symptoms right away and may require several treatments before they completely disappear. There are several treatments for the infection, and doctors will usually recommend oral medication or a topical ointment. Home remedies can be helpful, too. Fungi are now being recognized as common culprits in a number of human diseases. Over a million eye infections are caused by fungi, and one of the most common ones is Cryptococcus gadii. This type of infection is more serious than you may think, especially if your immune system is already compromised. The disease caused by Cryptococcus gadii is a new and emerging one that can grow to be quite severe in time. Cryptococcus is a fungus that causes infection by breeding in the fungus. The good news is that it cannot be spread from person to person. On orders from the CDC, the Washington State Health Department is tracking cases of cryptococcus caused by C. gadii. Preliminary data indicates that there have been five confirmed human cases in 2014, none of which has been fatal. How C. gadii infection spreads The first known outbreak of this fungal disease occurred in British Columbia in 1999. The disease has now spread south of the Canadian border to the United States. The U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention reported 60 human and animal cases in 2010. It has been linked to fungal disease in domestic pets and horse species and has even been found in porpoises. To date, no known treatments or vaccines exist for this fungus. 
The fungus is capable of colonizing new biogeoclimatic areas, and has been linked to recent outbreaks on Vancouver Island. Vancouver Island alone has reported more than 180 human cases since 2002, with an incidence of 36 cases per million people. This figure is significantly higher than the 0.94 cases slash million person year recorded in Australia's endemic areas. This outbreak has been widely publicized and continues to spread, and its potential impact on the human population cannot be underestimated. A study of the Vancouver Island outbreak identified 171 cases of C. gadii infection. The most common sites of infection were the CNS and the lung. The infection also affected the skin. The prevalence of the disease was higher among males than females. However, infection was most common in dogs than in humans, and it was associated with more severe diseases. The severity of the disease in dogs was categorized according to the type of organs it affected. C. gadii infection diagnosis The most common strain of C. gadii is the VGI genotype, which is the most common cause of clinical infection. However, the VGI genotype is not the only strain in the world. In Canada, it is the C. gadii genotype that causes human disease, while the opposite genotype is the more common form in the United States. Although the two strains are related, they are distinct from one another. The main symptoms of C. gadii infection are pneumonia, meningitis, and focal brain lesions. This fungus lives in temperate and tropical climates. People can contract the infection from the environment, and it is common in the lower mainland of BC. This fungus can also infect dolphins. Treatment is the same as for humans. However, it is important to see a medical professional if you suspect that you may be infected with C. gadii. Clinical tests can help healthcare providers make a diagnosis of C. gadii infection. For instance, healthcare providers may perform a biopsy to obtain tissue samples and send them to a laboratory for testing. Samples are examined under a microscope, tested for antigens, and cultured to determine the presence of the organism. Chest X-rays and CT scans may also be performed. C. gadii infection treatment Infections with Cryptococcus gadii typically occur in the lungs, where they encounter resident phagocytes. They produce a polysaccharide capsule and secrete enzymes. The infection inhibits phagocytosis and neutrophil recruitment. It also blocks dendritic cell DC, surface recognition, which dampens immune responses. The patient is diagnosed after undergoing a course of antibiotics and a biopsy. Because infections with C. gadii are not confined to tropical or subtropical areas, treatment options for C. gadii vary widely among countries. In the Pacific Northwest, infection rates of C. gadii were nearly twice as high as those in other endemic regions. Because the pathogen is not confined to tropical settings, clinicians in different regions may find a different treatment plan more beneficial. Although the infection is most prevalent in tropical and subtropical climates, it is not uncommon to infect immunocompetent individuals as well. A serious C. gadii infection may lead to abdominal mass. Treatment will include a long course of antifungal drugs. The ultimate goal of the therapy should be turning negative in cerebrospinal fluid. However, patients with C. gadii infection should seek medical advice immediately. Risk and prevention of C. gadii infection Although C. gadii is closely related to C. neoformans, it is different in many ways. In fact, these two species are closely related but differ greatly in terms of their clinical characteristics. Here we'll look at the differences between the two species, as well as the risks of C. gadii infection. Also, read on to learn about the symptoms of C. gadii infection. Before 1999, most cases of Cryptococcus neoformans infection in humans were found in Australia and other tropical regions. The fungal spores invade the nasal cavity, then spread to other parts of the body, causing symptoms such as meningitis, pneumonia, and cryptococcomas. Until recently, this fungus was only found in tropical areas, but now it has spread to the Pacific Northwest. In Washington state, the disease is a relatively rare occurrence, and it was not reported until 2004. Until recently, Cryptococcus neoformans infections were associated with the male sex. Infections caused by C. gadii, however, were not more common in males. These findings are likely due to differential exposure to fungus in different environments. Because Cryptococcus gadii is commonly found in urban and semi-urban areas, it is present in a range of settings. 
Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if this was helpful.